Branding and Siansu Episode 9 picks up where the previous episode left off. Shortly after Ye Sup said she'd been holding on for far too long, we get a short glimpse of her. We watch both her and the rabbit that has undergone cosmetic testing. She may have some sort of relation to the man with the rabbit mask who tried to murder Nayan previously, according to the scene. The next scene follows Nayan and Unho as they kiss to return to their former forms. Unfortunately, they find themselves trapped in each other's bodies as the switch fails. Following this, we witness Nayan, who is now inhabiting Unho's body, attempting to determine her killer. Since Yumi stood to gain the most from it, she is the main suspect in her mind. On the other hand, she does note that Yumi didn't pull it off without help and that someone undoubtedly helped her carry out the plan. Soon after, at Siansu Agency, Unho, who is now inhabiting Nayan's body, is called upon. Considering Unho's demeanor, he promptly declares his intention to head the underground squad. Meanwhile, everyone, even Yumi, is taken aback by Nayan's sudden shift in attitude and character. However, Yumi continues to be threatened. After this, marketing sex toys becomes Nayan's first task as leader of the underground squad. Being in Nayan's body is somewhat challenging for Unho, who struggles to imitate Nayan's behavior and is therefore perceived as strange by the team and the office as a whole. On the other hand, Nayan, who's in Unho's body, is extremely dominating and very unlike Unho, which raises some eyebrows as well. Additionally, it's shocking how submissive Nayan acts while Unho acts like the boss throughout the endeavor. The underground team arrives to speak with the sex toy store owner. While the woman describes the company's inner workings, they gather in the basement and pay close attention. To get the project done, Unho assigns assignments to everyone instead of Nayan. This is strange because Nayan is supposed to be the one doing that. Consequently, Nayan acts as if to yell at Unho. As they are away, Nayan ties her hand to Unho's with the sex toy and keeps the key for herself, taunting him as the episode ends. The Episode Review In Episode 9, Nayan and Unho continue to be stuck in each other's bodies. All signs point to Yi Sub being involved in the disaster. As part of her new assignment, Nayan must market sex toys. Unho's persistence in displaying authority is giving his co-workers the impression that something is amiss. Just like in earlier episodes, the show's plot is imbalanced between the main storyline and the secondary plot, which includes the office plot. Furthermore, the supernatural narrative has further muddled things and, to top it all off, it feels really out of place in the story. Additionally, there is a lack of development in both the characters and their stories. Given the plot, it needs to be able to make us care about the characters, but it hasn't done that, at least not yet. With any luck, things will improve from here on out. However, at this point, the show is simply mediocre.